increased costs due to inflation on their customers, but that's becoming more and more difficult, and that's why action needs to be taken. In Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brightaggs. McCall, we were talking about the lottery odds and we talked about getting yeah. struck by lightning. I don't want that to happen to anyone, and no. that is possibly a thing for tomorrow. <laughs> it is, and you know, it's really not anything to laugh about, but when you're talking about the odds of being struck by lightning compared to winning the lottery, it is kind of laughable that you have better luck of that. Um, but hopefully someone had better luck than that and won the lottery tonight. Um, as far as the lightning potential tomorrow, it does exist, especially for the afternoon into the evening, as there will be a line of strong thunderstorms that are expected to move on in. As for tomorrow, though, along with the possibility of storms, we're also going to be looking at some high heat and humidity in the Miami Valley. Looking at our hourly forecast for your Wednesday, we're going to be waking up in the low 70s. It's already going to feel pretty muggy for us. At lunchtime, we get to 86 degrees, and then a high tomorrow afternoon of 41. If you think that's hot, let's talk about the heat index. Tomorrow in the morning, again, we wake up in the low 70s. It will feel like the low 70s. But as the temperature builds and the humidity builds through the day, by as early as 10 o'clock in the morning, our heat index is going to be in the 80s. Fast forward just a few short hours. Lunchtime, your heat index is going to be in the 90s. And then as we move into the afternoon and early evening, we're talking about triple-digit heat index values from roughly 3 o'clock in the afternoon right through about 6 p.m. Once we move past 6 o'clock, we're going to see that chance for those triple-digit heat index values to drop off. And that's because we see a cold front come in. And that front is going to spark that threat for some thunderstorms. And the entire Miami Valley is under that level two out of five risk for some stronger storms. Now, as I say that, I just want you to know that this line is going to move in and we need to just see the ingredients come together along with this cold front for those storms to develop. It is not a certainty that it's going to happen. It is one of those days that we wait and see for that line to form and then we'll be tracking it. All right, there's that look outside. You can see in downtown Dayton, it's quiet for us right now. It will remain quiet for the rest of the night. Then tomorrow, the heat is here. We actually have a few heat advisories in effect for us, beginning at 1 in the afternoon through 8 p.m. Again, remember at noon time tomorrow, we're talking about heat index values through the 90s. By 1, 2 o'clock, we're talking close to the triple digits, and we'll stay there right up through the evening. So that's why we see that heat advisory, especially in the southwestern part of our viewing area, where you're more likely to see that heat index between 100 to 104 degrees. Outside of that, just treat the day as if it is a heat advisory day for you, no matter where you are, because it's going to feel uncomfortable regardless. So for Dayton, I'm forecasting a heat index topping out at about 101, maybe even 102 tomorrow afternoon. We do see a drop down with the heat index heading into Thursday because of the front that comes through. But then as we move toward the weekend, we're looking at high heat and humidity once again. And right now, Saturday, feeling like the upper 90s, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some heat indexes, uh, indices up close to the triple digit range once again. As for the storm threat tomorrow, you can see quiet now, but this is the front that's going to bring us the threat for those stronger thunderstorms heading into Wednesday afternoon and evening. I'll time it out for you now. You can see early tomorrow morning, not much happening. You do have some cloud cover forming to our northwest. Take it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Still not much happening, not only in the Miami Valley, but back to our west. You can see out in Indiana, up in Michigan. This is that wait and see situation. Now, those thunderstorms, if they're going to form, we're looking close to 4 or 5 o'clock and then continuing right on through the evening. I've seen a lot of our models indicating that the development is really going to fall in central and northeast Ohio. And then as that line passes through our area, we might start to see the southern tail forming near along I-71 and southeast. If that plays out, then a good portion of us may not see any storms at all tomorrow. So we'll keep you updated throughout the day tomorrow where those storms form, a damaging wind gust is possible along with hail and heavy rain, and an isolated tornado is also a potential for us for your Wednesday afternoon and evening. Once we get past Wednesday storms, we again start to heat right back up heading into the weekend, and it looks like our next chance for storms will return late Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. McCall, thank you. Three years ago, the Memorial Day tornadoes destroyed this 160-year-old barn. But today, it looks much different. The reason the city of Beaver Creek is celebrating. Next.